Hey guys, Paul from Montana. I have here a white outdoor zero turn mower. I think this is a 2006. Um, it's all tore apart because I'm working on it, but I just got it fixed and I'm ready to put it back together. Um, the problem with this mower was the PTO clutch would not engage, so it would not drive the blades on the mower deck. Um, I think that's a kind of a common problem with uh, these kinds of mowers that have the PTO clutch on them. So, uh, is what I did was I first took the clutch off the bottom of the engine. It's underneath, right underneath the engine. I removed the deck off the machine, and then I removed the uh, PTO clutch. I, I applied 12 volts to this connector here, and it slammed shut. It worked perfect, locked up just like it's supposed to. So that there told me that you know the clutch is probably good. So the next thing I did was pull the uh, connector that plugs into this PTO clutch up out of that hole. See that hole there? I pulled it up out of the hole and the chassis, and I attached this um, 12 volt light to it. It's like a homemade little tester light. And when the PTO uh, clutch is engaged with all the safety mechanisms in place, engine running like it's supposed to, uh, no light. And so I took my tester and I also checked for voltage at this connector. Zero voltage. So something's going on. Probably with the safety circuit was my first uh, inclination. So <clears throat> the I nailed it right away. I got lucky. The first thing I did was I checked this switch right here. This switch is shuts the PTO clutch off when the machine goes into reverse. There is one on this lever and there's the exact same one on the other lever. So anytime you go into reverse, the motor shuts off. This switch is a normally closed switch. Normal operation, it's closed, it's allowing power to go to the PTO clutch. As is the switch on the other side that's identical to this. When I put a tester on here, I discovered that this switch was open all the time. It didn't matter what I did. If I, you know, put this back and forth, it was always an open circuit. So, is what I did was, um, I cut the wires to it and just twisted them together and fired the machine up and boom, we've got a, we had a light and we had 12 volts going to the PTO clutch. That was the problem. The switch was bad. The other one's still good. Um, I, the reason I cut the wires is because I'm going to bypass that switch. I don't like the fact that the PTO clutch shuts off every time you put this in reverse. It's bad for the belts. It's bad for the clutch. It's, it's just, I understand if you have kids around and things, you know, that you might be backing into or pets or whatever. That's good. But for me, uh, I, I don't want this. So I'm going to twist these two wires together on both sides and bypass the re reverse safety mechanism. Should you do that? No, don't do it. I'm telling you not to do it. But I'm doing it. So there you go. That was the problem with this machine. Bad reverse switch. Bypass it by connecting the wires together. You could also take, this is the connector, and you could also take that and stuff a couple spades in there with a the jumper wire and bypass it to prove that it's bad. And uh, I'm going to put this thing back together and use it. It's a nice mower. And I hope this saves you time in your troubleshooting. Thanks for watching.